That is Northern Lights Cannabis Indica. No. It's marijuana. The marijuana industry has seen an explosion of growth in recent years, and that includes the CBD industry. Today, you can find CBD in everything from coffee to gummy bears, lollipops, even water. But here's a little secret. The industry is not regulated. So how do you know if the products have what they claim? Today, we're at CannaSafe Analytics, and we're going to find out. Well, Travis, the lab tests were appalling. We tested 20 different products from health food stores, juice bars, grocery stores, you name it. 16 of them failed to meet their label requirements. Five products didn't contain any CBD at all. Sales have been exploding, but there is almost no government regulation, which can open consumers up to the unknown. In terms of safety, this one failed, the gummy bears, this one failed, and this one failed. When it comes to CBD levels, five of the samples had a reading of ND, meaning no CBD was detected. And some of the products had major health concerns. One of them was this CBD lemonade shot we bought in Hollywood. Testing showed it contains no CBD, but it did test positive for abnormally high levels of ethanol. These CBD gummy bears purchased by the Dr. Oz team also tested positive for high levels of ethanol. But it was these CBD gel caps brought into the lab by a concerned customer that had the most startling results. They did have CBD in them, but they also tested positive for a strain of E. coli that produces the deadly bacteria known as Shiga toxin. guys, it's Madison Harnish back in my blue kitchen for another crazy video. And today's topic is really fascinating to me and something that I've been wanting to look into for such a long time. Today, I'm going to be talking about CBD, the state of the industry, scammers, and CBD MLMs. It's all a really complex landscape, but I'm hoping that the research I provide today helps us all understand what's really going on right now with CBD. Disclaimer, before we get into this video, I'm not really a CBD user myself, so I can't really tell you guys my personal experience. A friend and subscriber, Jackie Waple, who is the founder of Hemp Force, helped me with this video and she has a lot of expert insight. She's even providing a free ebook that I'll link down below for you guys on just all the information that you would want to know on CBD. It was such a helpful resource in this video, so definitely Definitely check that out and give some love to her. But before we get into the video, if you enjoy deep dives into unethical business practices and scams going on in the world, definitely subscribe. You'll probably like this channel. And if you like this topic, give a thumbs up on this video. And well, let's get into the video. So what is CBD? CBD, also known as cannabidiol. Cannabidiol, I said that right, right? hopefully, cannabidiol is a phytocannabinoid that was discovered in 1940. As of 2019, clinical research studies have showed that cannabidiol can help improve conditions such as anxiety, cognition, movement disorders, and pain. CBD is being touted to help treat nausea, anxiety, cancer, arthritis, and even Alzheimer's. Does it work? We know in animal studies and some test tube studies, it seems to be pretty good uh, for anti-inflammatory, may have some anti-pain, uh, and it certainly has some effect on mood. Dr. Bauer tells his patients to do their homework and be sure to talk with their health care provider. I'm very optimistic that there will be something beneficial there. I don't think it's going to be magic. But the CBD landscape is still fairly new and developing, so there's definitely a lot more research to be done, and that probably will be done in the coming years. Let's look at the market statistics of how CBD is growing and where it's going. 
That was a funny rhyme. The global CBD market is valued at $553.7 million in 2020. And in 2026, it's expected to go all the way up to $4,268.3 million. That is an incredible growth. CBD has become so valuable because it's a product that can work and have a lot of really valuable benefits. No! No, you can't go in there. No. <laughs> so a lot of the general public looks upon CBD fairly favorably. Since CBD does not contain THC, you never experience a high effect. So it's a very low risk alternative option for a lot of people dealing with things like anxiety or pain. But this fast growth has caused a lot of issues on the CBD industry. The first thing I want to get out of the way because it honestly is kind of gross and very bizarre to me, but there is an alarming number of videos of parents feeding their autistic children CBD oil and claiming that it has helped with their children's autism. From my research and what I've looked into, as you could see provided on the screen, there isn't necessarily extensive research on this topic. And I just think it's very bizarre and honestly kind of gross that not only are parents feeding their children, some of these children are tiny, tiny infants, this CBD oil that is unregulated and can have dangerous components in them if they're not buying it in the right places. But on top of that, they're filming it and putting it on YouTube and encouraging other parents to do the same with their autistic children. It's just honestly a little bit scary. Anyways, back to the other topics in this video. I'm not going to address this any further because it will just make me upset. <laughs> fast growth has created a landscape of very unclear, vague regulations, chaos in the market, and dishonesty of producers, with a ton of businesses popping up claiming to sell CBD products, but no regulations on how companies can advertise their products and what standards they have to reach to claim that they have CBD in their products. There's a lot of people jumping on the CBD bandwagon who really don't care about their customers and the validity of their products and instead fill their products with fake ingredients. For example, in 2018, the CDC released a report where they found in the state of Utah between October and January, more than 50 people were victims of acute poisoning through products that were sold to them as CBD. You see signs like CBD sold here all over smoke shops, convenience stores, and malls. But just because CBD is a great alternative medicine doesn't mean that what these people are selling are a legitimate CBD product. If these scam companies are popping up and creating these false products, it delegitimizes any effectiveness of CBD all together. Research published last year in the Journal of the American Medical Association shows that around 40% of CBD products purchased online do not contain as much of the CBD component as they claim and 26% contain higher concentration than they claimed. That's 66% of online CBD products that are not containing the correct amount that they are claiming they contain. This means that a lot of people are getting scammed. So how do you know who to trust? Well, I'm here to clear that up with the help of my friend Jackie, who is a CBD expert who helped me in my research to learn more about CBD. First, before getting into my correspondence with Jackie, I want to share some more information on her and give a shout out because she truly put so much work into helping me and providing me all of the information that she knows and it was just really awesome. I was blown away by it. So definitely check out Jackie's website, thehempforce.com, as well as her Instagram at thehempforce. And I'll be providing links to all of that down below as well, along with her ebook, which she is making completely free for all of us so that if you want to learn more about CBD than what I provide in this video, you can check that out as well. How to spot the fake stuff. She says, let's start with a very important suggestion. Do not buy from Amazon. If you type CBD into Amazon, you'll get 10,000 plus results. 
some of those touting their 30,000 milligram tinctures for $29. I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but none of these products actually contain any CBD. And if they do, they're doing so against Amazon's policy and arguably pretty unethically. What's actually being sold on Amazon is hemp seed oil. While this oil does have benefits, it's not what the marketing is insinuating. It's trying to get consumers to make the assumption that a pretty fan leaf on packaging plus cannabis sativa plus hemp equals CBD. It doesn't, and it's super slimy that this is happening. So consumers have to make sure they're doing proper research on each CBD product you're planning to purchase. She also lists out some other red flags that indicates that a hemp product only contains hemp seed oil and not the beneficial CBD oil. One, the product doesn't overly use the term CBD or cannabidiol in the list of ingredients. Look for other terms such as phytocannabinoid rich, full spectrum, or broad spectrum as well. These also indicate the presence of phytocannabinoids such as CBD and that's a good sign. If you don't see any of these, that's red flag number one. Be careful because cannabis seed oil, cannabis sativa seed oil, and cannabis extract and like terms are usually just clever terms to cover up the fact that it's just hemp seed oil. Number two, you see a shockingly low price. Sometimes a great sale is a great sale and it's not that deep, but many times it's a bright and shiny red flag. Like we talked about before, stores and websites like Amazon offer insane prices that to those that don't know what to look out for would jump on in a heartbeat. But this is perhaps the biggest indicator that the product you're looking at contains only hemp seed oil. The third red flag is the product's main marketing points include omega fatty acids and vitamins and the benefits of those. This is a doozy and one of the most major indicators that you're not getting CBD. These components have absolutely nothing to do with CBD. If this is all the product has to offer you, you could get the same effects with some vegetables and olive oil. Highly agree. Fourth red flag, extremely high doses assumed to be CBD. Many times this is just the amount of hemp seed oil in the product. And the fifth and last red flag is the lab reports are nowhere to be found. Lab reports slash COAs, certificates of analysis, are the most important tool you have in determining the quality and composition of a CBD product. Many times on any legitimate website or in any trustworthy store, these will be listed or easy to retrieve when requested. If you can't find it, ask. If you don't get it, that's a big red flag. If you do get it, really examine it. Look for the amount of CBD in the product. So this is where this video transitions a little bit from just talking about CBD and the industry as a whole to CBD MLM specifically. I wanna first shout out fellow anti-MLM YouTuber Savannah Marie. She does an entire video on hemp works. What's the deal with CBD MLMs? Here's what Jackie has to say. What I'm about to say is my opinion and it's not meant to directly attack anyone or any business. I will not remain quiet on this topic as CBD MLMs affect the entire cannabis industry as well as your physical and financial health. Yes, go Jackie. We stand a CBD industry queen. Multiple independent distributors are making money off of your purchase. And yes, that means the product is astronomically overpriced. These independent distributors are a significant source of misinformation in the industry. And I totally agree. This is kind of my own personal thing to add into this, but with a CBD MLM, you have these distributors who are selling for that CBD MLM and they have to sell their products. They have to recruit more people. So what are they going to do? Are they going to be an industry expert like Jackie and provide all of this factual research studies and information on CBD? Or are they going to go onto Facebook groups dedicated to all kinds of struggles and tell people that CBD will cure all of them? What do you think? Yeah. 
these independent distributors that don't necessarily have any expertise or merit to be selling CBD products and making any sort of claims about them are now going off and shilling this product everywhere and anywhere they can. It's tarnishing the CBD name. It's truly delegitimizing the industry. And I feel terrible for experts like Jackie who have to watch this go on. We've all seen some examples, especially on the anti-MLM subreddit, of CBD MLM distributors saying some very bizarre things. Hun tries to comfort a group member by making a suggestion. And someone posts about a family member with what it looks like is Alzheimer's. And this Hun comments on this post saying, have you thought about trying CBD oil? I'm schizophrenic and it helps me every day to not see or hear things. Thank you for the anecdotal evidence. Friend of mine opens up about mental illness and the progress she has made and then this biosh slides in with the cbd scheme imagine posting about your mental health your improvements and then you get a comment like this hey girl i've been following your journey and was thinking if you wanted to to try cbd oil it would cut those prescriptions in half it would be so much healthier in my opinion and who knows it may even do a better job just a thought anyways it's already scary enough to open up about mental health but to get subtly shamed for the amount of prescriptions you take, which can be an embarrassing topic for a lot of people, is just frustrating. Another post, CBD oil scam alerts. And this person says, since I boasted in the crime page I run, why not boast in all of the pages I run? I created this group some odd years ago. I am the only admin, and as some of you know, I have a three-year-old twins who are severely autistic. Oh look, this is coming up again. Yay, we love misinformation and people feeding CBD oil and unregulated substance to their children. The twins are showing no signs of autism after taking CBD oil. I have samples if you or anyone you know is interested. I also ship worldwide. CBD education group getting sick of CBD MLMers. We have a parasite that is becoming popular in the Facebook pain groups and it needs to be addressed. That parasite is known as the Hempworks representative and is a rare yet nasty species. The HREP is a brainwashed group and swear they have superior product, although it is crap. They swear they help others, but they don't say they make 33% on every bottle. The requirements are 1. Join groups and prey on pain patients. 2. Hear about get a bottle, become an expert, and don't care that people can get better quality for a better price, all in a week. And someone commented on this, I would love to hear your suggestions as to which products would work better and cost me less if you really believe all that, which is a very obviously salty hun. Another very silly post, delete if not allowed. Many people suffer from fibromyalgia, arthritis, anxiety, and depression. Why not try CBD oil? It's all natural. I have had amazing results for anxiety and depression, along with my son, who is on the autism spectrum. Why? Why is this happening? And why are not that many people talking about this? Don't feed CBD oil to your children. That's messed up. Is that just me? Is it just me that feels that way? I don't know, I feel like that's pretty messed up. Especially since autistic children can't necessarily speak for themselves always, so you're just feeding a child that is completely helpless under your supervision and can't even really speak up for themselves. It's, I'm really grossed out by that. His aggression has gone to a two. If anyone is interested, PM me or visit my site. So these Hempworks Huns are genuinely using misinformation and suggesting that their CBD products can cure your children's autism. Last one. This has got to be the funniest one. You ugly? Just take CBD. With a laughing, crying face saying, this is actually true. No, it's not. Imagine a study that said that CBD has been proven to increase attractiveness in patients. That's not a thing, so no. I've noticed that our ladies on our team, clients taking CBD, customers taking CBD, getting more attractive. Not that they were unattractive before, but I've noticed a lot of changes with a little yogi emoji. Their skin is much healthier. They're more vibrant. They smile more. They feel better. They're eating better. They have better energy. They're taking better care of themselves. They're more active, some putting more effort into their makeup, outfits, etc. What does all of this have to do with CBD? 
Not once in this entire post do they bring up any sort of science as to why any of this is true. And it's just really offensive to be insinuating that by taking CBD supplements, you'll become a more attractive person. It's like using the beach body mindset for CBD and it's just offensive, gross, and predatory. There's a siren in the background. Hopefully you guys don't hear that. Oh, it's getting louder. This is something that people are taking as a medicine of sorts. So to have fake products or shady business structures is terrible. It's terrible. This is not just makeup or leggings. It's an actual medicinal product. It's serious. So let's talk about one of the most infamous CBD MLMs, Hempworks. Hempworks is actually a company called My Daily Choice doing business as Hempworks. Their income disclosure statement seems to be on par with any other MLM. And two important points I wanna highlight from this is that during the time period of the income disclosure statement, 72,118 of affiliates received no income at all. And based on a survey conducted by the company in 2018, the average annual expenses for an affiliate were $1,608. If you've been watching my channel, you're not surprised, but I just had to highlight that. The craziest thing to me about Hempworks are the complaints about the company from the BBB. So I'm going to read those right now. It's really, really off-putting to me. At the time I was an affiliate, the lab report that was posted on the Hempworks website was not a third-party report, although they claimed it was. Therefore, the product was sold utilizing false and misleading information. I included the lab report in my initial complaint here. I received an email four days ago asking me yet again to provide them a lot number. I have already provided that information more than one time over the past few months and have never received the information Hempworks claims to have available. Based on Hempworks' deceptive claim, what I am requesting is an immediate, complete, and full refund of every order I placed on my personal account and on my business account. That is crazy shady so shady. I just hate how misleading a company has to be to claim that you have third-party lab testing, but you don't. And they're really hard to see as a scam if you don't know what to look for. It's upsetting to me just because so many naive people have probably been tricked into thinking that Hempworks is a super legitimate, well-tested CBD product when it might not be. Here's another complaint that's really upsetting. Hempworks makes false claims regarding their products specifically related to the lab results. Hempworks claims to have a superior product according to what they say are third-party lab reports. I was told, taught, and trained by my upline that the Hempworks lab report shows zero microbes, zero heavy metals, zero pesticide, and zero residual solvents. As an affiliate, I was told, taught, trained that Hempworks was one of the 13 companies that had been awarded a seal of approval from the U.S. Hemp Authority. At the time, I decided to do research on the other 12 companies that had also received that seal. In a process of researching the other companies, I discovered the lab report that Hempworks provided was in fact not a third-party lab report. I have requested a third-party report multiple times and have never received one. I sent my first email requesting the third-party lab results on July 26. It is now November 18th and I have still not received the results. I purchased Hempworks products specifically because I was told they are superior products and this is simply a lie. Hempworks falsely advertised the quality of their products as well as the origin of their lab reports. I'm requesting a full refund of all orders I placed on both my personal and business accounts, totaling $5,894.40. It's a lot of money to be spending on a product you think is the highest quality, best source you can get, and then you find out it's all a lie. Jackie concludes her notes on Hempworks by saying, I cannot find any specific farm or source for their hemp 
other than Kentucky Farms. Their lab reports on their website are extremely outdated. The most recent one is from 2018. I am having so much trouble finding any legitimate sources, recent lab reports, etc. that are vital to determining the quality of CBD products. I also wanted to look up Hempworks and other CBD MLMs and learn more about what they say about their products and how they talk about their recruitment practices. So let's take a look. First, let's look at lovely Hempworks themselves and see what they have to say about their business practices. Oh, gotta love this. It says success is a choice behind a photo of an audience clapping with a speaker and neon lights. Literally standard MLM cult right here. <laughs> success is a choice. You know what else is a choice, Hempworks? Choosing to not scam people and take advantage of people. That's also a choice that you could do, but you don't. It also says, take control of your life. Here are some key benefits to becoming my daily choice independent affiliate. Position yourself at the forefront of the booming CBD industry. Participate in our exciting compensation plan by referring others to our products and business opportunity. Literally listen to that. The booming CBD industry is insinuating that the main focus of joining this company is to join the bandwagon of the booming CBD industry to sell more products and gain success. It's not about helping people. It's about jumping on to a booming industry to make money. They said it right there. In true MLM fashion, they have their packs. Hempworks Director Pack, which is $199. The Hempworks Executive Pack, which is $599. Of course, they have CBD supplements that are $69. One has curcumin added to it, and another has melatonin. And another one has coffee berry extract. And as Jackie had said, CBD isn't like a nutritional supplement, like a vitamin. It's more of a medicinal product. So to say like, oh, CBD plus these supplemental products just is really like shady. There's another lovely CBD MLM company called Canaway. Canaway is founded in San Diego. And to me, it's even more sketchy because it doesn't have just CBD products, but nutrition, skincare, and essential oils. With how hard it is to regulate CBD products as well, do you really think that a company that sells other products on top of that, even essential oils themselves are hard to regulate? Do you really think that they're going to be providing the best quality CBD products? Probably not. They're just adding it into their collection of like supplements and nutrition products that you can justify high prices for because it's marked as CBD. So let's check that out. First, let's see how expensive their CBD products are. Gold enriched hemp oil for $479.98. Gold enriched? What does that mean? I mean, the prices here are insane, but I have to look into that gold enriched hemp oil for about $480. Like what the actual, if you go onto the gold enriched hemp oil and you go onto the description, the description is extremely short. I, you know, I was harsh on them at first, but actually if you look on their website, they have an entire section for lab results for every single product with lab results provided. So if you compare that to Hempworks and their products that they sell, okay, so when you go on that product and you click view documentation on Hempworks site, it just takes you back to why they test. And it says, enter your lot number below to begin search for the documentation, which means you have to purchase a product before you can see the documentation. And as reported on BBB, when people ask for their lot number, they never got that documentation. That is so shady and sketchy. Last thing I thought I would say in this whole kind of research experience is I wanna go onto other CBD MLM companies' websites besides Hempworks and see what they have to say 
about their recruitment practices. This is Canaways, the only place where you can really find upfront information about the fact that they are an MLM is if you go onto FAQ. The questions are, what is the difference between a preferred customer and a retail customer? And they say with Canaway, you can enroll as a retail customer, preferred customer, or brand ambassador. I've noticed a lot of MLM companies have started using the word brand ambassador to describe their distributors. Sign up as any of these and you will create your back office account with Canaway where you can place orders, update personal information, and learn more about Canaway and our products. The funniest question though on this old FAQ page for Canaway is how do I find a sponsor? Because they literally provide like a basic generic email response, but it's on their FAQ page, not on an email. So it's so weird that they're structuring the answer to a frequently asked question this way. But this is what they say. We are so excited to hear about your interest in joining the Camaway family. How did you hear about Canaway? Was it from a friend or a relative? If so, reach out to that person. They would more than likely be happy to help answer your questions, make some suggestions, and insist in placing an order. If you happen to cross Canaway through some other channel and do not know any Canaway distributors, best bets would be to search Canaway groups on social media. It's just so funny. And last MLM company that I wanted to read that's a CBD MLM company is HB Naturals. And of course, HB Naturals has that whole section that says daily commissions that pay in real time. Need to pay that car payment tomorrow? Share the product. Which... <sighs> It just frustrates me. CBD is an industry that should have leaders that are focused on improving the lives of their customers, not focused on making money off of their distributors. And unfortunately, CBD MLMs seem to be doing just that. So that's all I have to say on this video. Please like and share with a friend that you know that uses CBD products so they can know more about this industry right now. And I hope you guys are all doing well, staying safe and healthy. Until next time, have a good one.